Ohm's law. Ohm's law was the law that was giving us the relationship between the voltage and the current flowing across the conductor. Okay, according to that law, in a fixed physical condition, that means there is not a large or a much variation in the temperature, the pressure of the surroundings. Then, in a conductor, the current that flows through the conductor will be directly proportional to the voltage. Okay, that is the potential difference applied across the conductor. So, according to Ohm's law, B is directly proportional to R. And when we uh, remove this proportionality constant, so B is equal to I R. We had discussed about this R, that is the proportionality constant, which is also known as resistance of any material. Okay, and I and I told you that resistance is what that is. The property of any material that obstructs or that resists the flow of charges or the flow of current. So today what we are going to see, we are going to learn that which are the factors that affects the resistance of any material. Okay. So to understand this, we will consider a conductor like this. Okay. Suppose this is your conductor. Okay. And this conductor is what it is carrying is suppose charge. Now we will understand this with a simple analogy. The analogy is like, suppose here is a ball. Okay, this is your ball. And this is your point, suppose this is your point B and this is your point A. Now consider this charge to have a ball is a comparator. Charges or the flow of current. 
कंडक्टर का एरिया ज्यादा रहे तो उसका रेजिस्टेंस क्या होगा कम होगा तो दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज एन इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन देम ठीक है तो मैं क्या लिख सकती हूं इस एग्जांपल इस डायग्राम से इस डायग्राम से हम लिख सकते हैं दैट आर ऑफ द मटेरियल इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू एरिया ऑफ द मटेरियल दैट इज एरिया ऑफ द कंडक्टर ठीक है अब हम क्या करेंगे अब हम
Resistivity is the resistance provided by the cubic unit of any material. Cubic unit is area or length. Area or length of an area of meter square or length of meter. So, cubic meter in the cubic section is provided by resistance that is known as resistivity. Okay. And your resistivity it depends upon two factors that is temperature of uh, it depends upon temperature and it depends upon the type of material. Type of material means that the conductor is whether it is of copper, whether it is of nickel, steel, iron. Okay, so these are all different materials. Okay, so resistivity will be different. So this is what all about the topic about the resistance. Again, resistance depends upon uh, it depends upon length and area of the material. Whereas resistivity depends upon temperature 